Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about BMX games on the GameCube. Dave Mira Freestyle BMX 2 is the Tony Hawk correspondent of BMX games. The game has a similar structure, you free roam, get challenges on the map and do countless of tricks. You can create your own character, but you can choose from 14 different BMX pros, which you can upgrade later with unlockable stat points. The game has 10 huge maps, filled with ramps and gap spots, but unfortunately, because the maps are so big, the level design is sometimes lacking. Meaning that, from time to time, it's hard to find a place on the map where you can do some sick combos. But this doesn't mean that you can't do plenty of tricks and enjoy the game. The trick system is well thought. It's amazing how many tricks you can pull off in the game. Also aside of the solid single player experience, filled with free roam, plenty of objectives and a well crafted trick system, the game has multiplayer too. There are 13 games you can play in two. And games, and games are stuff like 3 minute high score or BMX variants of horse, single trick at 5 random spots or who manages to make the longest grind. Overall, the game is fantastic. It feels a little sloppy with some animations and some physics and the big map works against you in some moments, but these are just nitpicks, because the overall experience is pleasant and solid. It's not as good as Tony Hawk, but it's still close and solid and fun as a standalone game. BMX XXX isn't a poor game, even if the name sounds like one. It gets its name from the nudity and the use of hookers and strippers in the game. Also the humor in the game is more dirty. It's not of high quality, like dirty humor in general, and it feels generic. But in rest the game is the standard Dave Mira BMX game. The same guys behind Dave Mira made this game too. And in gameplay and structure it's the same. You get new maps and new characters, this time you can create topless female characters, and there is one new objective from the big laundry list of objectives you could do in the previous games. Now there are objectives where you need to pick up an object and get it somewhere on the map. But in Rust, the gameplay is the same as before. The same reach the combo score, the same collect this stuff or get that many points here. Basically, this game is Dave Mira gone sexual. Those who are sensible to sexuality in video games will want to play it for the polygon asses and tits. But those who don't play games just because they're sexual will find it a competent BMX game. It feels like another entry of Dave Mira. Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX 2 tries to be more like Dave Mira, but doesn't reach the same level of fun. The objectives get repetitive and shallow, whereas in Dave Mira they were interesting and better integrated. Also in Dave Mira, you didn't have an annoying timer on your nerves. But on the other hand, the physics and animations are way better than in Dave Mira. In Dave Mira I always said that the animations look sloppy. Here they are okay, falling from a bike or landing tricks look much better in Matt Hawk than in Dave Mira. It still has problems, but it's better than in Dave Mira. But still, it falls short compared to the best in the genre, Tony Hawk. Also, Matt Hoffman has one of the weirdest out-of-context endings in video game history. The game is about doing tricks on a BMX. But if you spend hours unlocking everything in the game, in the last level, the game turns into a first-person shooter. Which is totally out of context and weird, but yeah, it makes the game unique. So, in conclusion to all three games, they are solid and competent BMX games. And if you want an enjoyable BMX game, try any of the three. But each one has shortcomings. The first one is fun but has its drawbacks, the second one has the same drawbacks plus sexuality which some consider it a better aspect, some a worse one, and the last one has good graphics and solid gameplay, but the missions are shallow and clunky and make you refuse to play the career and just cruise around. Also I forgot to mention that each game has a park builder option. And in each game the park builder is bad. Options aren't that great and the mechanics to build a park work against you. 